So two nights ago, we picked up all these people, <laughs> Tracy's family, all the way from Canada. And today we're going to do pretty much the three most touristy, cool things to do here in Nairobi. Yeah. And it starts with a coffee farm tour. <laughs> Welcome to my family. We have my brother-in-law, Evan, and then we have Joel, Owen, and Elise, my sister, Allison, and then my mom and dad over here. <laughs> You're probably gonna see them a lot in like the next four or five videos, just saying. Four or five? Four or five? So we are here at the Fairview Coffee Farm in uh, Kiambu, and we are not here because the kids were dying to check out a coffee farm, but you know, Trace's parents, they think it's very cool. I think it's also very cool, even though I don't like coffee, but the kids are gonna be happy later on, you'll see. What do you think about coffee? I hate coffee. Yeah, me too. It's disgusting. <laughs> So this coffee estate here was started in 1909 by a British family, but actually since 1978, it's actually Kenyan owned and operated. All the trees that you see around us are well over a hundred years old and they can actually live up to 300 years old, which is, uh, which is quite old. Tracy, it's time for your test. How many coffee trees on this estate? 78,000. Oh, you got it. I was listening. <laughs> So coffee was discovered in Ethiopia in a region called Kaffa and this is with time this is why we call it coffee now. Kaffa, coffee. And fun fact if you don't know the story of coffee a farmer from Ethiopia was having a lot of goats. The goats were eating the berries on the coffee trees. They were they became very excited and because of that the farmer you know became interested in those beans started to eat them himself felt the effect as well and basically yeah that's how they discovered coffee. He just you know, told the good news to everyone. No, we can't. Well, Papa can. David, can you please? I find it more enjoyable to just film you guys trying to get this tiny avocado there. One, two, three. Oh, so close. And at least in the meantime, Joel just showed up with all of this. <laughs> There's a massive avocado tree and they told us that we can keep whatever we find and they're picking enough to like start their own market on the side of the road. Time to see how their coffee is roasted and taste some coffee. Describe the coffee places. I don't, that's something I don't know how to do. That's definitely the dark. Medium is my way to go. Medium or the way. What do you think, Marina? Is it good? <laughs> I wasn't gonna taste, but then uh, my eight year old nephew decided to taste, so I'm gonna do it too. Ready, bud? You gotta chew me first. Yeah, I don't think it's getting very good. Ready? Yeah, do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> so coffee farm, very good for adult, but uh, Owen Joel, a bit boring for kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The next activity is gonna be better. I swear. Hello, darkness, my old friend. To the next spot. We're having a, our neighbor gave us our car for the next few days, so we can, uh, you know, taxi everyone around. This video is brought to you by the M Finder app, and instead of telling you why it's such a great app, well, I'm gonna show you. Owen. So let's say that you lose your phone or even worse, somebody takes it. What do you do, right? Where did he go? To the airport. Well, with the M Finder app, you can actually connect to their platform on your computer or on another phone and lock your phone immediately. The app also takes a front and back photos to help you recognize the surroundings or the thief. It also allows you to send a personalized message to your device or call it directly. Owen, you gotta come back here right now. So once your phone is locked and secure, the M Finder app is gonna give you a lot of options, including tracking your phone in real time. Is he going to the airport? Can't believe 
think this is happening. I'm getting closer, Owen. How did he even make it here? Something else that's great with the MFinder app is that when you get very close to your phone, if you can't find it, you can actually activate sirens and other sounds to be able to track it. Owen? Oh, I'm getting closer. I can hear it. Where are you, Owen? Where are... Oh, you're right there. Give me my phone. Now that I have my phone back, let me get back home and tell you a little bit more about the MFinder app. Now, let's say that for some reason you cannot get your phone back. Well, the MFinder app still has your back with their fully remote backup feature, meaning that you can download remotely all your files and other precious photos. It is now time for you to download the MFinder app from the Google Play Store by using your exclusive link down below, which will give you a 14-day free trial to never, ever be worried again about losing your phone. So the entire fam jam made it to the famous giraffe center <laughs> where the boys are gonna have their first kiss with a giraffe. No, no, you didn't say maybe. You said if David does it, I'll do it. That's what you said. No. Oh, we'll see. Because it is a nice and sunny Sunday afternoon. It is quite busy here, but you know what? We're gonna make the most of it. Hi. Hi. So you fit like this one at a time. Get your coconut, bud. Coconut, coconut. Get your coconut, get your coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Welcome. To the giraffe, Joel. Use two hands and like feed from one hand and don't let them come close to this because they're gonna eat it all. Got like two types of pellet, like the normal green one, which is graph, and some brown one. I'm not sure what those are, but this giraffe is spitting out all the green ones. All she green just ones. wants she the brown green. ones. So picky. That's what happens when there's so much food. Yeah. Who has brown? Oh. My nephew wants to know like if the giraffe feed is good. It tastes like grass. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -uh, you gotta commit to it. <laughs> They say, I think we should start feeding the Pumbas. That's they what Owen was doing. Yeah, they don't get enough love. In case you didn't know, the giraffe center and the giraffe manor are basically on the same property. So the giraffe that you feed at both location are the exact same giraffe. This is the giraffe manor right there that you can see behind the bushes. It is a beautiful place. If you ever have the opportunity to go there, I highly suggest it, but uh, it's, uh, it's quite uh, pricey. That's one. Mama. Cheers, cheers, it's so fun to come to cheers. the giraffe center. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. You drink yours so fast. How are you too, sir? So giraffe center, definitely a uh, must do here in Nairobi. Yes, it is a little bit touristy, but it's not too expensive. And for people coming, especially outside of Africa, if, you, if they've never seen a giraffe, I mean, this is a hit every single time. Okay, Tracy, see you there. So this is the boy truck, and then the girls have the girl truck, right? Boy truck is much cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> you say abariyako. Abariyako. No? Yeah. So I say abariyako, okay. then you say mzurizana. You did everything you could, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so because it's their first time in Kenya, they've literally been here for less than 48 hours, well, we brought them to Carnivore, a true institution here in Nairobi and in the entire country. So happy to be here. So dinner at Carnivore only starts at six. So we went to like the garden side and they have like a bunch of activities for kids. So the nephews are very happy with the slides and stuff. We're gonna have a drink and wait for the meat feast. Tracy, you haven't been in this vlog much. Sorry, I've been focused. Spending time with the family. Tusker seems to be a pass for the entire family. So, you know, they're basically Kenyan now. Joel, do you even have your driver's license? <laughs> Backyard was nice. The boys are now tired out, ready to eat some meat. So we're gonna transfer to carnivore on the other side. Now we're gonna eat more testicles. Yeah. 
my nephew and I have a deal. If I eat a bull testicle, he's gonna do it too. No, no, get a pinky swear. Yeah. Joel, even you're far from me, I still remember what you said. <laughs> what are you the most excited about? Crocodile? Yeah, probably. Ostrich, yes? I think more croc now. You gonna try the ostrich? I think so. Ox balls? No. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> no. Tracy, ox balls? I tried them last time. Check out the old video. <laughs> I, I already did but my But do duty. it again to show everyone. Oh. <laughs> Today, in the exotic section, we have some crocodile. We have some ox balls indeed. We've got some ostrich meatball and king tilapia fish. I don't feel like tilapia is very exotic, but it's still under that section. Otherwise, it's a bunch of like pork, beef, chicken, turkey, and every other meat you can imagine. You guys, they're gonna bring a lot of sides like soup and potatoes and salad, but just don't forget, don't eat too much of that because we're here for the meat, right? Don't eat, don't eat too much vegetable, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a first bite. Um, if you need to, you can eat this. <laughs> Delicious? I like to hear that. Crazy, so far so good? So far so good. Got some chicken gizzard here. Parents tried it. They like it? Yeah. It's a bit chewy, but the taste is very nice. This is it, the fun stuff started to arrive. We're starting with crocodile. Yes. Right? Everyone seems to be liking crocodiles. Mm -hmm. It's like chicken. Take a big bite. Don't worry, it's not gonna bite you back. <laughs> What's your thoughts? It's pretty good, eh? What are your thoughts on crocodile? Very chewy. But it's pretty good, good taste. Chicken, it like chicken. Ostrich? You're loving it, eh? It's so good. Taste us. Pretty good, right? Yeah. One slice of balls for Joel. Yeah. Okay, Joel, you gonna take the full bite? Okay, cheers. Not bad, right? Not bad. No, Just try it. Do it. Full bite. Oh, no, no. Come on now. Come on. You gotta get the full taste. And this is the right one. We done try the last she, one. She's gonna taste it. From your face, I can tell it's not your favorite. No. <laughs> so a few people have tried the ox balls, but Joel seems to be the one who prefers it the most. It's good stuff. It's like potatoes and fish. Yeah, it tastes a little bit fishy, that's true. I agree. Well, that was delicious. Just in case you're wondering, it's 4,800 Canadian shillings per person. It's so worth it. Thank you so much. It was yes, delicious. Man, see you next time. Have a good night. Cheers. And plus the people were amazing here, super nice. So like they have a, a gift shop right beside the restaurant, right? But it's like a tourist trap. Everything is so expensive here. So I'm trying to tell the family, like don't buy too many things here. They're trying to get the like a thousand for those bracelets, which, which is a lot, it's a lot. Get, get them straight from the Maasai market or something where you can bargain, because you can't bargain here. You can't bargain here. Oh, yeah. now, I'm now, now you're basically Kenyan. Yeah, that just makes me they, obviously yeah, Kenyan. Yeah, pretty now. much. What, what, That's pretty much your citizenship. Yeah, like oh, all oh. the Kenyans wear it. It's a staple Everything. in the country. You I've gotta get your everyone. bracelet. Yeah, you gotta get your bracelet. When we go to the national park with them, with that bracelet, you can probably get resonant rate. Okay, Tracy, take them home. So what time is it? Can we go to bed? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> is there something you, else you had a big day? Is there something else that we're supposed is to do a big today? Day. But it was a good day? It was an excellent Perfect. day. I like to hear that. You I'm couldn't good. have done anything any better. <laughs> no, we we fitted glad. it all in. We oh, back to where That coffee yeah. plantation, I enjoyed that. And the giraffes. <laughs> yeah. I just enjoyed it all. Awesome. And I ate crocodile and I, know. I ate. Bull yeah. balls. <laughs> yeah, you ate bull balls. Yeah, you did that. <laughs> and I ate. Ostrich yeah. meatballs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did, Myrna. Yeah. Like this is. Uh, I'll just family. tell somebody. Next. I'm pretty proud of you. You know, <laughs> yeah. Really, you, you went out of your comfort zone. You went out of your comfort zone a lot. All I'm the way. I did. And that's yeah. and it's not stressing you. Not a bit. Ne next up, Safari. Oh yep. man. Back home. Welcome to our bedroom. Successful day. Even though we had a rough start. I mean, like. 
bringing like an eight-year-old and a 12-year-old in yeah. a coffee field even me like you know i don't like coffee so i don't care that much about it but like we should have done your parents center. loved it yeah so that was everyone's happy really after that it was all uphill yeah. uphill from there like they love feeding the giraffe yeah. it's always a good go they love carnivore like eating crocodile and ostrich yeah. and ox balls i think on top <laughs> of it too though like everyone's still battling jet lag so especially mm. for the kids who aren't really used to it and yeah. even my parents i yeah, haven't yeah. really done everyone was change. a bit tired but like everyone had really a blast good. so it was good yeah, yeah. So, up next safari well bedtime, bedtime. <laughs> But then the next video for you guys is going to be yeah. Safari. So make sure to stay posted. Subscribe yeah. if you're not you got, for some reason. You got your day filled today because I was, I was yeah. playing tour guide. She, yeah. <laughs> she was taking care of her family and I was taking care of you guys. So until next time, see you guys. In the next one. <laughs>